Psst. Hey, you. This week, we've got something special in store. We'll be teaching you how to build all the shadiest decks. Trainers, today we're going to be looking at deck building slightly differently to other episodes. Instead of focusing on a hero Pokemon and its strategy, we're looking at a strong consistency engine made by well-known player Tord Reklev, who also just happened to write this episode. This episode will cover the use of the Intellion line paired with some of the strongest trainer cards in the format to make up the Intellion engine. By using this engine, you can build a functional deck with almost any card you want. The best part about the powerful Intellion engine is that almost every card can be found in the Intellion VMAX League Battle deck. Today, let's look at how a sneaky shady dealings engine can add structure to your deck and a few options for powerful attackers to pair with it. Sound like a deal? Let's go! What we are looking at now is referred to as the Intellion engine, focused around the shady dealings ability you might remember from our support Pokemon episode. Just this engine alone will not be able to win you any matches, but it gives you a great foundation for your deck to include almost any main attacker you want. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? Or a really cool looking card in your binder you want to build a deck around? The Intellion engine could make your dreams a reality, and lets you decide which Pokemon you want as the hero for your deck. Sobble, Drizzile, and the two different versions of Intellion all serve critical roles as the deck's consistency engine. Let us first talk about Sobble. It might look sad, but I promise its keep calling attack will put a smile on your face. This attack can not only grab the other three remaining Sobble in the deck and put them onto the bench immediately, but can also pick up your hero Pokemon as well if you decided to choose a Rapid Strike Pokemon for the job. Next up, we have Drizzile. When Sobble evolves into Drizzile, its Shady Dealings ability is activated and lets you search the deck for any trader card and put it in your hand. With around half of the deck consisting of trainer cards, this ability gives you a ton of options. It can, for example, allow you to pick up the optimal supporter card for the turn, like a professor's research or a boss's orders, or find an air balloon to help you maneuver around. Keep in mind that with the trainer cards we have included, Drizzile could actually get access to any Pokemon in your deck as well by picking up either Level Ball, Quick Ball, or Evolution Incense. Finally, we have included two different versions of Intellion. This Intellion here from the Sword and Shield expansion also has the Shady Dealings ability, and can pick up not only one, but two trainer cards from the deck. The other Intellion is a Rapid Strike card and is considered a power card. Its quick shooting ability lets you place two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon every single turn. This damage will add up quickly, helping your hero Pokemon to take a big knockout. Okay trainers, it's time for a pop quiz. True or false? The ability Shady Dealings can search your deck for any card you want. The answer is false. The ability only picks up trainer cards. But as some trainer cards can find Pokemon or energy cards, it's almost like you can find any card in your deck. Points all around! Now that we have looked at the engine, let's put this into practice and explain how you can make your very own powerful deck. As you can see, the Intellion engine already makes up most of the cards of our deck, but still gives us 24 cards left to add ourselves. The exact count on how to distribute these cards will vary depending on what hero Pokemon you choose for your deck. You want to make sure you add a strong evolutionary line of your hero, enough energy cards for them to attack, and Pokemon to support your hero, plus a few trainer cards to round out the list. 
Here is an example on how you can fill in the remaining spots, based on using cards from the Intellium VMAX League Battle Deck, featured in our previous episodes. We are again looking at Intellium VMAX as the hero of choice, but this time by using the more committed Intellium Consistency Engine. Like last time, Frostmoth is still the main way of accelerating water energy. The water energy cards are easily accessible by using shady dealings to search out the capacious bucket we added. Deciding the correct number of energies for your deck is never easy, but here are some tricks of the trade. Make sure your deck contains enough energy to fuel multiple attacks from your hero Pokemon. You also want to factor in the risk of discarding energy during a game. With cards like Professor's Research or Quick Ball, and having a few of them end up in the prize cards. Some special energy cards can provide your deck with unique effects, such as Capture Energy. You should always consider if a special energy could be a good fit for your deck or not. In this example, we have chosen to include only two Capture Energy, since they cannot be searched out with Capacious Bucket or accelerated in play with Frostmoth. Capture Energy can still be very helpful for our deck, as they can find more Sobble to evolve later. Remember that this is just an example, and that the true strength of the Intellion Engine is that it can support almost any card in your binder, so don't be afraid to experiment! Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Top Deck Academy! Today we looked at one of the most powerful consistency engines in the Pokemon TCG and how it might enable your favorite Pokemon to finally shine in battle. Please let me know in the comments which Pokemon you will choose as your hero featuring the Intellion engine. Also make sure to comment if you have any questions and what you want to see featured next here on Top Deck Academy. Thank you so much for watching! Until next time! You might know a song called the Pokemon Rap, but I've got another song that's sure to be a slap. Know the shady dealings where you get in your deck. Draw two trainer cards. What the heck? Play the Inteleon and do something with it. And then you'll win the game because that's just how you do it. <laughs> that's all I have. <laughs> Shout out to TCG player Tord Redcliffe for writing this episode of Top Deck Academy.